Hi, I'm Charles Proffer, Art Department Chairperson here at McClure High School. Since our message is a visual one, I'd like to take you on a visual tour of our department and show you what we offer the students here at McClure High School. Let's go up and see what Mr. Leonard is doing in the Art Foundation classes. Welcome to our foundations. All visual art is composed of six basic elements. Like in the atom, in a molecule, they are the building blocks of the creative process. When these elements are combined according to specific principles, the result is a work of art. At McClure, the Art Foundation course is one semester in length and is a prerequisite for all other art courses. During the first semester, students are introduced to the elements of design such as line, shape, form, space, texture, and color. During the second quarter, more complex problems in drawing emphasize the principles of design, including rhythm, balance, points of interest, and perspective. Our foundation course teaches exactly what the students need, basic skills. With the basic skills, they can learn such courses as airbrush. Now let's go to Mr. Haney. Hi, I'm Art Haney, and I teach graphic airbrush design. It's a new course at McClure. Let me show you how it works. The airbrush is a tool that utilizes compressed air, which is sent through an air hose and into the airbrush. The painting is atomized with the air and comes out the front as a fine spray. Students use the airbrush daily so that they can learn how to control this delicate tool. This class is career oriented and has many applications in the business world. Students learn the technical aspects of the airbrush as well as the creative applications. Now, let's go learn about jewelry from Mr. Fred Crouch. Since ancient times, jewelry has been among the most important of all art forms. The jewelry studio attempts to give 7,000 years of history along with the basic processes to students who enroll. Hi, I'm Fred Crouch. Let's take a closer look at what students learn in this course. The beginning jewelry classes covers the basic technical skills of working with metal while attempting to integrate designs with conceptual and functional pieces of adornment. Although some assignment problems may be given, the class is conducted on an individual instructional basis. Students are encouraged to familiarize themselves with a broad range of techniques which allow them to explore new design concepts and they realize the potential of the medium. This course enables students to turn their original creative ideas into wearable works of art. Now let's go see what's happening in the drawing classes. The use of line is the foundation of art. As a result, drawing is the simplest and most basic means for the young art student to express him or herself. The study of drawing at McClure teaches students to use the elements and principles of design that they have learned in art foundations. Let's let the picture tell the story. Using a variety of media such as pencil, Conti crayon, pastel chalks, black and white charcoal, pen and ink, colored markers, and scratch board, students are encouraged to express what they see and feel on different surfaces from the roughest to the smoothest of papers. Working from still lifes and figure studies, the artist learns to understand shape and through the use of line to portray three-dimensional shapes on a two-dimensional surface. Now, Mr. Proffer will explain ceramics. Hi, welcome to the ceramic studio. 
The students in the ceramic classes strive to master the skills that are responsible, responsible to be successful in working in clay. Some of the basic knowledge about design is carried over from their art foundation class. There are also, they also gain experience using several tools in order to construct ceramic pieces. One of these tools is a slab roller. The tool will give the student uniform slabs of clay for their construction. The pottery wheel is another tool that the, that the student makes use of and explores. At the conclusion of the course, students have become aware of the difference between poor and good designs in clay. Also, they will be aware that a well-constructed, well-designed piece of ceramic is just as important as any other piece of artwork. Now we will go up to see Mr. Haney in the graphic design class. Graphic design is a class that emphasizes visual communications. The class emphasizes creative thinking and problem solving. Areas of communication that are studied are lettering, genetic designing, story writing and illustrating, and product designing. Students will have a chance to use the airbrush and to get a feeling of the commercial art studio. Now let's go to the sculpture class and see how they're working in clay. In our sculpture classes, students learn to understand form more fully as they move from a flat surface to a three-dimensional surface. Actually, the artist is working with six surfaces, the top, bottom, and four sides of an art piece. McClure students work in a variety of materials such as clay, plaster, metal, and wire, which are available at no charge. What we refer to as found art, art made from anything from clock parts to furniture pieces, can also produce beautiful sculptures. Advanced students may also choose to cut and weld wire, sheet metal, and metal scraps. For a nominal fee, students may also elect to work in wood, wax, or bronze. McClure High School is extremely proud to have the only art department in the region with a fully working bronze foundry. But we have even more proud of the numerous students we have earned national awards for bronze sculptures. Now that you have seen what students learn in sculpture class, let's take a look at our watercolor courses. Watercolor is a transparent painting media that utilizes special white paper stretched on a board, transparent paint, brushes, and palette. The objective of this class is to familiarize students with the techniques of painting. Students are taught the basic fundamentals of landscape painting, such as how to paint skies, trees, and rocks. Students also learn the techniques of still life painting. The final results are paintings that students and their families can enjoy. Now let's go enjoy the wonders of canvas painting. In painting class, students learn to mix color and express themselves with color. We start with tempered paint on cardboard, and as students master the brush, graduate to acrylics and occasionally oil on canvas. Acrylic paints are the easiest to work with since they are water-based and dry quickly. As the semester progresses, students refine their understanding of color moving from two-dimensional designs to vivid, intense expression of form with depth and spatial relationship. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of the art department as much as we have enjoyed presenting it to you. You are welcome to come and visit the department anytime you wish.